The following is a transcript between Matthias de Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self referred to as I am, originally produced on April 4th, 2021, under the constellation of Aries, in the mental week, examining through the heart chakra. Me. I wonder what the question for the heart would be. I am. Well, you ask yourself the right question. What do you think the dilemma of the heart is? Me. To love? I am. The heart is the one that distributes the blood through the body by the pulse and the pressure of its valves to the bloodstream. It is, therefore, the organ that distributes it, that expands, that puts itself at the service of others, that opens itself to receive and give. It is the balance that distributes justly. But it must choose well the way to do it to really find harmony and balance. Me, I understand. The heart is the one that must make the right decisions, even more than the brain in many cases. It is the one that must find the answers of what is the best thing to receive and what is the best thing to give of itself. The heart embodies balance on its axis and doubt on its imbalance. I am. So what is the question? Me, which is the question? I am. Very well. Doubt in the deterministic society, such as this, is probably one of the attributes seen as one of the greatest weaknesses. Doubt is the undoing of a Libra mind who does not move forward in life for fear of making mistakes and prefers not to make rash decisions. Doubt is the Libran heart's anchor to older systems fearful of change or imbalance. This despairs its opposite reflection in the wheel of signs. Me, Aries, he who does not doubt but acts. I am. Today's society lives much of its most rudimentary decisions based on Aries attitudes. Today's society acts on impulse without evaluating the outcome of its actions. Impulsive, the Aries hunch gets into conflicts that it does not know how to resolve. The greatest attributes of Aries is determination, the will to do, to put his body, soul, and spirit into what he intends without seeing anything else around him. He will throw himself into accomplishing his task and will eliminate everything that stands in his way without evaluating the results of his actions. Therefore, the greatest attribute that the Aries mind should integrate from its opposite is doubt. While for Libra, doubt is their undoing, for Aries, it would be salvation. The slightest hint of doubt in an Aries heart would make him better evaluate his actions before launching himself into a battle of experience. Therefore, let us seek to balance in this Aries heart the transcendental meaning of the question which. It may seem simple, but you will find that it is the key to balance. Me. How can it be that the question which is the key to the balance of a being? I am, because which is born from the same origin as quality. Quality is the attribute or condition of which. Let's go back to the etymology. Both the Spanish, cul, C-U-A-L, as well as the English, which, have the same origin which takes us back to the Indo-European cow, K-W-O, thing, object, or what, but with a new suffix from the word lichen, L-I-K-A-N, meaning form, body, or figure, from which rise to the English like, comparative, having the form of something similar, resembling something else and which in Latin gives rise to the suffix li, li, kwo li equals qualis, q u a l i s, which translates thus cow, lecken, means possessing the form of a specific object. In question, cow lecking, 
would be translated, which thing does it resemble? Me, which then becomes a way of comparing forms? I am. Over time, the use of the question transcends its nature of comparison to become a matter of choice. Choosing between two things or more that resemble each other, whose results may be favorable or negative in equal measure, and that, because of their close appearance, leads us to the doubt of knowing what we really need. So, go from comparing to choosing. Me. Which is better? Which is worse? They both look alike, so I must make a decision between what appears to be equal. I am. The question which is a fundamental key in the society that wants everything, and it is related to the heart by the incessant search for equality between the parts, trying to find balance between what is given and what is received, between the good and the bad. Me. So the question leads us to the constant doubt, what good can something that keeps us in indecision bring us? I am quality. We have talked about this a lot. Human qualities, spiritual, physical, emotional. Every word ending in ness, in English, t, t y, comes from quality of something. That is, that resembles, that possesses something similar to another. Someone who sees very well has the quality of vision. But, in our language, it is very poor to say quality of vision. The correct form would be, has the quality of an eagle. The phrase refers to that it has the attribute of something similar that we can compare with vision, because vision itself does not possess any quality. To recognize a quality, it must be comparable to something else. To awaken a quality is to recognize that comparative factor of an internal aspect of the individual in relation to the other aspects of the external world. Me. So this question can also be taken from the conditional aspects of the ego or from the unconditionality of being. I am. That's right. From the ego and its conditions, the question which will lead you to doubt, to the choice between one thing or the other, the constant existential doubt of the heart, to choose between what it wants more or less, to choose between this or that person, between this or that object. But from the unconditional perspective of being, the question, which one, leads us to discover our qualities, to acquire new ones. Me. How to use this question correctly, then? I am. To attract what you desire, you must become what you desire, the law of attraction. It is related to giving and receiving. You cannot expect to receive anything in you without first giving something of yourself. And to receive something concrete, you must give something concrete. If you want to choose to receive love, you must give love. Nobody receives love by giving money. In any case, it would not be a quality love, but false. The law of attraction does not imply the will to desire something and attract it, but to enter into the same tuning as that which is sought. Like a radio signal, to hear what you want to hear, you need to change the dial until you find the wave frequency on which the signal is being broadcast. Therefore, your radio device must be tuned according to the signal you want to receive. Pretending to listen to a specific dial without making a change of tuning, a wave frequency in your desire, and just hoping that you magically will start to hear the program you want to hear will never lead you to the expected result. And you will always hear the same old thing over and over again. Me. I understand better now with this example of what attraction is. I am. In order to hear what you seek, 
you must tune in. Change the dial. Become that which you seek. The ancients did this the same with the dials of consciousness. Without radios or televisions or Wi-Fi, they used another way to receive this information by activating the quality of that which they wished to incorporate. Me, how is this done? I am. If they wanted to have a better vision of things, they acted like an eagle. If they wanted to be better hunters, they acted like a mountain lion. And if they wanted to be more patient, they acted like a snake. And if they wanted to be wiser, they acted like an elephant. And if they wanted to be in balance, they acted like a heron. And if they wanted to be aggressive, they acted like a lion or a lioness. If they wanted to connect with everything, they acted like a tree. And if they wanted to communicate better, they acted like the air. Me, imitating nature, I am channeling existence. Me, that's where Asian techniques like Kung Fu, Qi Kung, Tai Chi, and so many others come from. Also, the reason why many cultures change their names to animals or trees or their attributes, things that then became surnames in one or more cultures, like Lopez, son of the wolf, and things like that. I am, exactly. Ancient people would ask themselves, what is the attribute that I need in my life? And they would look for it in the qualities of the external world. So, upon finding that which they were looking for, they would begin to act similarly to the subject or object to awaken that quality. But there is something much easier to identify in relation to how we activate qualities that we do not possess. Me, which one? I am to love. Love is magnetic. It works by polarities, negative and positive. Both attract each other. That is to say that one needs the other, and the negative will seek the quality of the positive to complete its energy. When we fall in love, when we love someone, whether it is in the form of a partner, friendship, admiration, we tend to act like that person. You tend to start to have the same taste as that person, to act like that person. And you realize that you are naturally different in your way of being dependent on a person that you meet. That is to say that depending on which or such a person, you will be this or that person. Me, by magnetism, I begin to channel the quality of the other to be part of him. I am because you love their attributes. By loving him, you're channeling his qualities and awakening his capacities in you. It is a natural way of downloading data and information from one body to the other. Me, but culturally, this is seen badly. I mean, it's interpreted as if I'm giving up on being me to be like the other, like denying what I am, being hypocritical by acting like the other. Like those people who don't like music, if they fall in love with a musician and then suddenly start learning instruments. I am like you who fell in love with a pianist and started learning to play the piano. And since it was over, you didn't play the piano anymore. Me, wow. You have the ability to destroy me in just a sentence. <laughs> I am, um, hey, I just give you practical examples. Me, well, now tell me, why is this wrong or right? I am, um, which one? Me. To play the piano or not to play the piano based on my love for another person. I am, which do you think is right or wrong? Me, I don't know. You tell me, which one? I am, you are the one looking for the quality. How could you answer what your love is looking for? The question which can only be answered by your capacity to love that what you seek. 
for it is the quality that you seek to awaken in yourself. There is no right or wrong in this choice, for the quality is not a choice spent in good and bad. It is simply based on the quality that you seek to awaken. From the ego, it is possible that you sought to awaken this quality just to feel like a part of the other person. From the being, maybe you fell in love with this person to awaken this attribute of music in you. The mistake is to consider that when love disappears, the attribute also disappears. Look, let's get to the heart of the matter. What everyone considers today as hy hypocrisy is actually a tool of evolution. Me, how can the hypocrisy of being be a evolutionary tool? I am. Birds that imitate the sounds of other animals are more likely to survive. Humans who learn what other humans have discovered have more tools to get along in the world. Octopi that camouflage themselves with the environment and imitate other animals in their shapes have more options for subsistence. Plants that imitate colors organs, and animals have more possibilities to expand their seeds. Insects that imitate the eyes of other animals or the colors of poisonous fruits can stay alive in the face of predators. Camouflage, imitation, mimicry, taking attributes from the surrounding environment was the key to evolution, substance, sharing attributes. We're all one. The mistake does not lie in taking the attributes of others to improve the individual, but in leaving one's own attributes to want to be like the other. Me. Ah, I understand. The problem is choosing between being me or being the other, leaving my own to put all of my energy into being like the other. The truth path is to be myself, opening myself to fall in love with the attributes of others, adding these qualities in me, to stop choosing between one thing or another, but to channel all that I consider useful to my evolution. I am the question which hides the ability to awaken the qualities of a being, that which I love is magnetic, and by falling in love, I become a part of it. Becoming an equal, whatever its form is, I am an equal. I qua less. I thus awaken its quality in me, improving the being that I am. Me. I must ask myself, what are my attributes? What are the things that I seek? What have been my choices? What is my greatest love? What is my purpose? What are my emotions? What are the people that I resonate with and those that I don't? What is my reality? What are the kinds of people that I relate to? I am. Ask yourself all of these questions that begin with which, and you will know what you reference, match, or hope to match. You will discover that resonates in you, the dial of your radio, and you will be able to identify where you want to move to transform yourself. The question which is the key to your heart which receives and gives according to your qualities. Me, I open myself to understand my qualities, and in my doubts I recognize what I seek to be. I am, I am the quality. Me, and I seek your quality in me. I am, but first you must ask yourself the right question. Me, which is my quality?